The fun is mature, classic, elegant, and understated, and affiliated with those of the loud and ostentatious populace, with a focus on being meticulous and precise, rooted in time on a tradition for generations to come. This is old money. This aesthetic says a lot about all modern day society than any other fashion aesthetic, which is saying a lot as fashion in general is classist and elitist. The old money aesthetic reveals wealth, and not just any wealth, old wealth. And you would be inclined to think that this includes the wealthy families from across the globe. However, that's not the case here. This aesthetic is one that celebrates the stylistic choices of all wealthy European families from France, Italy, and Britain, which is where it gets its appeal from. Photos taken in front of manicured grounds of large and impressive chateaus, manors, and estates, whilst wearing clothing that is very subdued, classic, and doesn't require the need for logos or overly branded goods or loud silhouettes. That's an understated norm. For this is class, my dear fellow. For this is elegance. For this is money. However, I always wonder what makes the appeal for this style so popular, especially in fashion where it has carved out an audience for itself to reside in. Well, simple logic will dictate that it's the money, right? Hello. Plain and simple. I Whilst like the aspiration to be wealthy and to be a part of a social circle of wealthy individuals is something that most people would like because everyone craves a life of simplicity and luxury to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's unfortunately not how the world works. So where does its appeal lie in? There are three places. The first lies within its wealth. The second lies within romanticism, most notably European romanticism. And lastly, its style or choice of clothing style. However, for the sake of this video, I will only be focusing on the fashion aspect of the aesthetic, whilst also doing it from a menswear perspective. However, if you're a woman and would like to give your take on the subject matter at hand, please do so in the comment section. The selling point for the old money style is its timeless and classic appeal, or so we are marketed to believe by the people who make videos on the aesthetic and style. But the reality is that the style is simply more accessible to any and everyone, with a slight caveat of course, I'll get into this a bit later, as all of the clothing required can be obtained via secondhand clothing stores or from parents and grandparents. And of course, the one place from which many of us buy a large majority of our clothing from fast fashion, an industry that loves it when something trends and has a core name or identity because it makes it easier for them to sell you you the aesthetic you've been craving, the style that speaks to you. But let's quickly backtrack here. Old money is an easy style or an aesthetic to pull off. This isn't entirely true as the style is rooted in aspiration, meaning everything in this aesthetic is something you desire. The wealth, the elegant money. and beautiful trophy wife or girlfriend, the beautiful and elegant classic soft top car, holidays in Europe's most elite getaway destinations, so on and so on. These are a part of the romanticism aspect of the aesthetic you find when looking up the aesthetic. The attire you can find the individuals who adopt this aesthetic is classic menswear, again largely European, British for the winter, Italian for the summer, French for the evenings. All styles of classic menswear. The two in question focus much more on fitted clothing and require you to have body type that falls in line with its tailoring styles. This tight and close cut is very flattering to many as it shows off your physique, however here's the cover. The style isn't for everyone. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to come to grips with reality and realize that it simply isn't for you. If your body is of a particular build, say you are extremely athletic or you have a much rounder or softer body type, it makes this slimmer style of fitted clothes look very uncomfortable and gives the weird boxy and unflattering silhouettes. Take this moment when DJ Khaled worked for a particular brand that does offer large sizing to men to be more inclusive however I think the back of the jacket speaks for itself. More passion, more passion, more passion, more energy, more energy. Don't you think? But you do understand the appeal, right? And why it's popular, right? Because it isn't easy to recreate a full brick outfit or full Yoji or CDG or Sakai or so on and so on. Sure it is, but that has to do with your wallet and how patient you can be in general. On the off end, however, I do wonder why most men are reserved or put off by at the thought of wearing loose fitting clothing juxtaposed with fitted clothing. But also, why is this ideal or slimmer fitting clothes the standard of what is considered for being sexually appealing? 
towards women when menswear isn't really designed for the female gaze as women's wear that is designed by a man is in part designed for the male gaze and for women to be more sexually appealing for men the clothing that most of the brands that are associated with this particular aesthetic are normal clothing just well made and supposedly make use of the finest materials and construction methods this aesthetic has catapulted brands such as Laura Piana, Brunello Cuccinelli and Hermes whilst brands such as Zegna, Le Maire, Jill Sander and Bottega Veneta who also sell well-made normal clothing receive more attention but not as much as compared to the others. This may have to do with the fact that these brands are targeting a much younger audience with high disposable income and with a much less conservative view on the proportion of clothing and still have the same love for quantity and craftsmanship. In short, although it appears this trend or aesthetic will have its time in the sun, it will ultimately lose the interest it has on the larger audience it holds today and decline into a small community where it will live in understated elegance and an abundant and luxurious silence. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and follow us for more.